Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this video, we're going to do a simple math problem that involves positive and negative numbers. So here is the problem. We have five minus one, minus two, minus three. What is this equal to? And if you're gonna try this problem, put your calculators away. Just use that calculator in between your ears as that is a supercomputer. And uh, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second. But uh, this is going to be a quick video, just a quick refresher on some real basic concepts about positive and negative numbers when it comes to adding and subtracting. Um, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so pretty straightforward um, problem. Uh, probably some of you out there can probably just do this. Actually, maybe most of you can do this in your uh, brain. That's basically called mental math. That's perfectly fine. As long as you're confident in your answer, let's go ahead and take a look at the result. The answer is negative one. Okay, so if you got this right, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%. Don't we like to get those A pluses 100%? This is too bad in uh, kind of like when we get beyond school that we don't get these little uh, rewards. But anyways, uh, here's your A plus for today and your 100% and a few stars. You can tell your friends and family that indeed you're an expert in adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. Now, this problem is a super simple type of problem. So if you didn't get this right, I'm glad that you're watching this video because I'll give you kind of some suggestions on how you can uh, learn this. It's not that difficult. And of course, it's essential that you understand how to work with positive and negative numbers if you're at the, let's say, middle school math level and beyond. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here is our problem. And we have 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. So what is the answer? Well, of course, I just told you it's negative 1. But how did we get to negative 1? Well, before we uh, answer that question, let's just take a look at some easy examples when it's uh, uh, when we're talking about dealing uh, with subtracting numbers. So here I have 1 minus 3. Okay, it's the same number. Okay, more or less. It's 1 and 3. But here we have 1 minus 3. This is 3 minus 1. And then negative 1 minus 3. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at each one of these examples. Now, if you want to just go ahead and kind of think about what the answers are going to be, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine. Use this as a little mini pop quiz. But I'm going to start with this problem right here. 3 minus 1, okay? This is something that you probably learned in the first grade. Of course, uh, let me just see my best attempt at drawing a hand. <laughs> That's a terrible attempt. Let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? That's where the um, term digit comes. We have these digits, and you're counting on your fingers right here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 3. We have uh, 3 fingers, and then we kind of just use a different color. So 1, 2, 3. Uh, there's three fingers, of course, you would hold them up, and then we take away one of those fingers temporarily. This one goes down, and we're left with two, right? So, you know, real basic counting concepts, three take away one, or three minus one is, of course, a positive two. All right, so hopefully everyone understands that, but this problem right here, this one minus three, looks similar. However, it is quite different. So one minus three, well, we have one, okay, kind of go back to our finger problem, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now I have one, but I'm going to take away three. Well, that, you know, doesn't really kind of make a lot of sense, you know, at least when you're uh, having your fingers um, kind of up there. So this is different, okay? This is what we're um, kind of talking about in this video. We're talking about positive and negative numbers, right? Now, a great way to think about positive and negative numbers in terms of adding and subtracting is to think about money. Now, you might be saying, where is this guy going? Well, here's a, a good way to think about it. Positive numbers, you want to think the, basically that you have some money, and negative numbers is that you owe, right? You have some debt, right? Okay, so here's kind of 
one way you can uh, use this model. Now, I teach this far more extensively in other YouTube videos. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave a link to my Math Foundations course. It's a little uh, mini math course uh, in the description below, and I go over um, you know, positive and negative numbers, what we call real numbers in math, and all sorts of other basic math topics. But, uh, you know, so this is just a quick example. So here we have 1 minus 3. Well, this 1 is actually a positive 1. So think of it as you have $1, okay? And then this negative 3, what we want to think about is this, or what we want to do is the following. This is a minus 3. So in math, what we can do is change this minus sign to a plus negative, right? And this is a big part of the, what I want to kind of get across in this video. So when you see a subtraction signs like 1 minus 3, I want you to turn this into a plus sign and then take that negative sign and assign it to this number to the right of, the, of this new addition symbol. So right here, 3 minus 1 is what? 3 plus a negative 1, which of course is the same as 3 minus 1. Now let's take a look at this problem again. We know the answer is 2. So this is like saying this is a positive 3, right? So this means that, hey, you have like $3 in your pocket, and then your friend comes up and says, hey, uh, you remember that dollar I, I um, you know, that you borrowed from me you know, last week? I want it back. So you have to give that person one dollar right and that leaves you with how much two dollars a positive two dollars which of course that means you still have money so let's take a look at this example now okay by doing this plus negative and that's kind of how you want to think about it plus negative so one minus three so this is going to be one plus a negative three okay so what's our financial uh, kind of situation here well you have one dollar but then you owe your friend that three dollars that you borrowed you know last week okay so you give them that one dollar that you have so how much debt do you still owe negative two all right so positive one or one plus a negative three is negative two now I'm kind of going over uh, this quickly all right I, you know, I'm tempted to get into it <laughs> because I know some people still might be a little bit confused but what I've found over the years or decades of teaching is that using money as an example to teach how to add and subtract positive and negative numbers is an excellent kind of uh, way. And, and of course, it's real life, too, because when people say, hey, what am I going to use this? Well, if you look at income statements or you know, balance sheets or whatnot, there's all sorts of positive and negative numbers out there. OK, so let's go ahead and take a look at this last example. We have negative one minus three. So now that we know to do this little plus negative, so negative one minus three is what? Negative one minus, we're gonna turn this into plus negative. So here we have, we owe someone $1 and we know we owe another person, uh, let's say for example, $3, so our total debt is four. So negative one minus three is the same thing as negative one plus a negative three, which of course is negative four. Now, if you understand these uh, three examples, uh, these three different scenarios, then you should be able to do this problem pretty easily. So what I'm going to suggest to you is that you just get used to working with this plus and negative. So we're going to change all these uh, subtraction signs into plus and negative. So let's go to rewrite the problem. So we have 5 minus 1. So we'll, we'll write this as 5 plus negative 1. And then we have 1 minus 2. So we'll have this as 1 plus negative 2. And then we have 2 minus 3 or 2 plus negative 3. So when we look at this, what do we have? Well, we have, you know, uh, clearly we have these negative values and one positive value. So when you see a number, and if it doesn't have a negative sign in front of it, it is a positive number. Okay, so now we can kind of pull this all together. So how much, how many negative uh, dollars do we have or how much, you know, debt do we owe? Well, we have one, two, and three. This is six, so we have six dollars in debt but we have $5 in our pocket. So that means that when we pay our friend this $5, we just still owe them $1. So five plus negative six is negative one. Okay, so hopefully this little uh, example, you know, didn't confuse you. And if uh, it did, uh, as long as you can get these problems right, you know, that's what uh, counts. Okay, there's different types of models. What I have found uh, in mathematics, there's a lot of rules, okay, that you can use, just kind of 
rote memory, like, okay, here's how you handle positive and negative integers and adding and subtracting. That's fine. But if you can kind of remember a model, like the one I just gave you with using money, then that's much more effective in my opinion, in uh, my experience. But uh, again, if you need help with basic math, uh, there's two courses I'm going to suggest. It all depends on what level you're at. Either my math foundation course, which you can find in the description, or pre-algebra. Okay, that's another uh, excellent course where I teach uh, positive, negative numbers, fractions, and of course, uh, we get into algebra in that course. But uh, hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.